Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. We were happy. Last night, there was a meeting that was held. Ken came out to address the matters in the grand community during the meeting. A lot of people were happy hearing from his own side because AGPN side, they have heard their view and uh, we have heard what they said. Ken came out yesterday and aired his own view, although some people were saying that uh, there was nothing different he said. So he spoke about disbursement. He spoke about how far they have gone. He addressed some issues, though some people were disappointed that he didn't really, you know, speak the way they thought he would have spoken. But he spoke, he addressed a lot of penitent issues pertinent issues rather and uh, he, he said a lot of things so we'll leave you to listen and uh, be informed listen and be informed you know he gave a lot of analysis and uh, you know him we are used to everybody you know when you know somebody very well as in somebody's antics you try to to manage the person we all have our own witnesses so he has spoken as ken wakama is supposed to speak he has said about you know when he speaks now some people told me that i always analyze his speech i said not to analyze it this time around because i'm tired all we need is disbursement all we need is disbursement so even for me i don't even want him to speak i just want him to disburse anybody that will disburse let them disburse we don't even want anybody to speak you know, but he spoke and uh, I just wanted to listen to it, Sha. Personally, I don't want to give you my personal opinion, but uh, I want you to listen to it. You you are free and entitled to your own opinion about the speech. Some people praised him. Some people said they were disappointed. So listen to it. We'll see the other end. We'll keep you updated. You know, the way it seems, this month is gone. Because the last meeting that was held for closing this month was held uh, yesterday and Friday and Thursday. Monday is public holiday, Tuesday is public holiday. Once everything comes back to normal, it should be 24, 25. And from 24 to 25, there is nothing to be done. The voucher for this month is being closed from 21st. So anything that is going to be done from 21st, in government parasita and finance for that parasita they divide they, they just take it to the upper month because from 20th they start preparing payroll for for payment so there's no how there will be disbursement this month technically this month is gone so what we are hopefully hoping for is july to see what will happen in july you know so guys, just listen to what Ken got to say and hear from his mouth about the modality and the torso challenges of uh, disbursement. See you on the other side, guys. Thanks a lot for Chris Cross in our channel. Here, Apostle Ken speak. We we're happy that he finally spoke and say his own side of the story. You know. And I can your way this evening, an emergency based on the hula ballo that just popped a few days ago. You people know that I'm not the talking type and I don't like talking. But I found myself in the midst of a, something I never bargained for, but I'm prepared for it by God. I am a man that doesn't like it, so that I respect myself. You can't see me doing nonsense in that careless people may do. Because I need to respect myself. I don't like insults. When I come to grand community at this point in time, I become like Jesus. There was a time everybody singing praises of Apostle Ken. All of a sudden, the whole thing changed. The same people that, told, that shouted the Hosanna and said, crucify him. I'm not a child. That's the price of a leader. The leader goes up. Goes up and down. Keep on going where he's going. One thing I want to remind you people today, I am just a man on a mission. From the inception of this very ground that calls itself UAD, I never tell anybody that I have a grant and I invite. 
I went for exam. You all, if you want to be sincere and truthful to yourself, you know the beginning. It is some people who are now persecuting me that went out to find the root cause of this very grant. In my way of doing things, I don't run from pillar to post. They find out that, yes, they found out this is this. I spent my money. I spent a lot of money. I need to know what this is all about before I get myself involved. Fortunately, the people that encourages me say it is true. We found the document. Your name is there. And now the same people saying different things. And I came in with a, with a spirit of a servant to, to serve. To serve Nigeria and my country. To make sure that things work well. I put in everything within my capacity. And then all along the way, I came out on 9th of March, 2023, under the leadership of stakeholders, announced and bringing data. We're not going to use the data of another angel. Hell will let loose. I have from external forces. Courage. And many uh, people here, you know, with our the battle turn around from the inverse to stop it. I call everyone I can call within the center of the problem. Now I want to make something straight. All grand pressure groups under the leadership of Abdul is like my own brainchild. They are very close to me. They are like sons. They are like junior brothers. We are working, but only God knows what is in the heart of a man. And they were giving me encouragement we are going along. And then, I remember one day, they told me, God has answered our prayer. We find a door to get to these things. We all went together. The negotiation started after we have wasted money from different channels. And we saw this very rich channel. I had a an event note calling Samuel Abbasi as extortioner, as all kinds of things. Ladies and gentlemen, he is not working on himself. He has his bodies within his team. They are the people who came to help, and we found truth in them. They didn't charge us money like other things we have put out there before. But they said they are going to help us get this thing out. We decide whatever to appreciate them. There was no negotiation. There was no, no issue of any payment. For somebody now to come and talk about and mentioning somebody's name, these men and women are busy people. They introduce Samuel Abbasi to us as the person communicating us and reporting to them and they're holding meetings sending him back to us. I don't want to set grand community on fire. There are things I will say with evidences. But that about all the way that is backing like a hungry lion. Everything he said, he was not there. If Nigerians are sensible and men that are living well, few days ago they celebrated their victory according to them, turning me to Southeast Coordinator. Nobody challenged them. All of a sudden, you turn and backing like a wounded lion. I think there's something you are not telling Nigeria that you are. Winners don't make noise. It's always losers that make noise looking for reason why they lose. I was tired 
even answer coordinator. I didn't say anything because I have learned in my leadership all my life to learn how to be under authority. And as far as this grant is concerned, I am under authority too. These are people who come to rescue me. Some in Lambasi did not collect 20 million, 40 million, whatever from me. There was nothing like that. Somebody who was not there, everything he was saying, you listen, he was saying what he was told. He just said somebody who had been brainwashed and turned to be a slave. He's talking like he's on his own. He was set like a robot to go around. So I want to tell you people, all those things was rubbish. This group that is helping us now did not collect such money from me. I did not pay Abbasi. I did not give him any money to save from me. They have done everything to get me out of the point. But you can bring down a man who you raise up, not somebody that God raise up. In all they do, it doesn't work. They now come to creatures everywhere. How about their celebrations? Ask them, two days ago they were celebrating. Is there any other meeting that has happened between me and them or between the, 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 the committee helping us? No other meeting. That means they have something they, they are hiding they need to tell Nigerians. But that is that to that. My involvement in the grant, all of you know, through St. Rita, who include my name, and the husband misunderstood me and fought me, but I think a no issue between me and him. We didn't understand ourselves. I have not gone offensive to anybody. I've only been on defensive way. And I'm a man that God's hand is upon, if you don't know. I want to use this opportunity. I will make this in straight to tell you, Abbasi did not collect money from me. Abbasi did not turn anything against them. Rather, he was fully following protocol. I don't want to do scatter the whole community. If not, I know what to that has that has kept us where we are. But God will settle that. And I like to give you uh, this word to look at because every time people are jumping up with a threat collected money, that the 5K we paid. Let me announce to you that every record of that money that entered my hand is documented by my accounting. The reasonable authority want to see how it goes, I will present it. The 10K we, pre we I, I asked earlier before that fact to pay for this, to, for the app and do so many things and logistics the record is there and this 35 k you all knows what happened between me us and paystack when paystack started paying some have been discovered for 150 million to run the verification when it was impossible, we came together. So let's approach the CEOs. Many of you knew what I'm saying. You borrowed us money, some let us say it is just forget about it. But it was borrowed that added the investment will return back your money. Before you know it, activation again. And I I, I made up to four hundred million, don't say billion. And I bought four houses in one pound. Where I'm living in one I packed in there by June. Anything about that money happened between October. Maybe I think within October. But I'm very, very sorry. Having learned that I'm working in the mix of people who reasoning are not in my own level. So many of them are not in all. When they see one, they make it 200. All the things we are saying that were saying against me, I didn't bother. 
commentary recently. The reason I came here is to let you know, Nigerian community, if you really, we really want money, we should learn to behave mature. This money or this fund should have been disbursed late last year. Just nearly, it couldn't come. By January, instead of disbursement, the hidden hearts of men were revealed. I never know that people claiming to be helping me are fighting to snatch the grass and be the one to divorce it. People that went that they went for me went for their own selfishness, lying upon lying upon lying against me. The authority know I have never reported anybody. I've never sent message to anybody. God is my witness. I've never complained about anybody. But they keep on complaining. I stood so low, even to accept shit. Let it be this thing work. Let me go and rest. But I don't know what is a man in the heart of a man, but God knows. They keep raising dust from one junction to another, from one junction to another. The more they raise these dust, the more they are making me stronger in the process. And I want to say this. This grant, nobody has taken it and nobody will take it. I'm not boasting. I'm a man on mission. God sent me. Anybody can say anything. It's God who knows who we are. The Lord who sent me to this is supporting me. I am still in charge. But the only difference now is all this accusation, government decide to make it their grant. They took over. That is where Abbas comes in. To be in charge of the grant. To be reporting to government. To oversee whatever we're going to do. I am still in the system of this grant. If anybody tells you that I'm not there, he's just deceiving you. I'm in charge for yourself, but I'm the only one that can defend your interests, not any other ones that are pretending to be for the masses. Somebody made a statement from the team as opposing me. It's better for them to stay two more years, as long as it's not a possible game. Let me announce to you, you can't remove somebody you did not put in any position. It is God that put me here. And I want to plead to every one of you. Lay down your arms. Let us get this money. The more you are child, every right of every GN. Government has intelligence over everywhere. They are hearing it. All these things will not help us. I want to do this program not because of this union that just came out. I've always done it to prepare this program to plead to us to be calm. This thing is about entering our hands. We know the last meeting we had and what we were told. Any of these dragons here are there. We are taking more fuels that the government may decide on the parties. And I am not the one to hold responsible. If anything go wrong in the process of this grant, hold all grant pressure group responsible. Because I've never made any trouble. They are the ones creating this trouble. But I'm pleading to all of you partners. Talk to them and be calm. This grant is coming out. Enough of this nonsense. A sick psychopath will come out and insult me anyhow they like. These are people that cannot look at my face and talk. Just because of cheap data and Android phone. You now supposed to be talking as if you are somebody. Ask them what are they doing before grant? What is their job in Abuja? Where are they living in Abuja? Who is paying the house rent they are living in? We've been here since before, many years before grant. And we are feeding and eating without grant. Please, I've taken enough sheets. If you're a mature, reasonable man, just ask yourself, what is the secret behind celebration and crying 
it after a day or two, there's something that deceiving you people. Then was reason they do that all their celebration could not change the instance of what is going on. They came out to rant and to accuse me, to insult me, to show manners of this, even to so insult a gentleman that is laboring for the good of Nigeria, calling him next. I'm here to let Nigerians know that everything always said against the chairman of the government committee, Sam Amasi, is all lie. I'm not saying it because he's an evil man, evil. I'm not saying it because I want to defend him. I'm telling you the truth. The group did not collect such money from us at all. We did not, they did not extort us. We suffered that in the time past, in the wrong hand. But in these hands, we have never suffered such a thing. Rather that the one putting their money, putting their money and time to make things work. They break us together. Even if we quiet so that we can dispose of uh, this money, everybody rest. The enemies of this grant inside the country, in, I mean inside the system, that doesn't want this money to be dispersed. Government is interested to give us this money to live poverty in Nigeria. The wealth of Nigeria is important to the government and they are willing to do it. Let us stop this, stopping the process with all this Rampage. Someone just woke up, he took, he will take phone because he, 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 he can talk, he has that. From 2016, you started talking. What have you achieved? You started taking comrades and titles. What have you achieved? Please, I plead to every one of you, partners, this thing has never happened in Nigeria and it's about to happen. Let's join our forces together to resist the devil. Let this thing come out. I cannot say some things in public domain, but it's only a fool that opened up all his arsenal in the public. God has already said on this thing. All we need to do, don't provoke the devil by all these solar battles. If we can be quiet, we would see this money soon in our hand. I know that after now, a lot of analysis will go. There are people who don't have work. All they have is to post in social media. But be patient. God will put money in your hand. you find something to do so that all this nonsense will be over. But fighting here, fighting here, who is fit to disburse the money? Who is not fit? And I'm mobilizing people, supporters club here and there, to fight a to can. That one stupid person that calls herself a lawyer come to write nonsense about South Southeast. Some of these people, if you ask them where they come from, you will understand who they are. I am a born Omaha person. That's where I come from. I'm a Southeaster. So anybody buying you to start ranting, is not doing you good. Besides, I'm not a state co uh, regional coordinator. I'm not. I'm not the original coordinator of South East. Even though they have called me that, no problem. All I want is let this thing happen so that I can rest. The shoe I'm wearing, if you wear half of it, half leg, you will know what I'm going through. But the Lord has prepared me before now. I beg you see his post. You're a leader. Control yourself and control the people. So I've come to the end of all this Ulabalo. That is why I decided to come out. Everybody be calm, everybody be patient. Let's not on ourselves allow the devil to use us and destroy the blessing that is coming before us. Voice notes cannot bring the money. Updates cannot bring the money. What will bring the money is quietness for God to finish what he's doing. The, the committee are working their night. All our people that are helping us are committed to this disbursement. But these things are drawing their effort back. And I came out here to talk to you, knowing fully well the authorities are hearing me. I have not instigated problem for the first time. And I want to say now, forgive one another. I am not angry with all, all grand pressure groups. They are just doing what they can do. 
They are just trying to be what they want to be. But I want to say this. I am not fighting anybody. And I want to stand on this to make a comment on the list that was flying this morning. It didn't come from me, and I don't have anything to do with that list. I've told you people in this platform, anybody that registered, duly registered, will surely get this grant. So I'm not using my position to revenge on anybody who may have insulted me or do one other thing. That is not my person. So whoever that formed that list, send it down. He just want to throw bomb in the in the ecosystem and create chaos again that people start fighting each other. I've done more than that. What is it that insulted me? I'm in position to share grant to you. I didn't give you because you insulted me. I'm above that. I'm too big than that kind of front nonsense. So I won't do such a thing. This kind of list is not coming from me, nor from anybody. I want to say to you, if you listen to me this morning, this night, I'm not deceiving you. I'm too big to be deceiving people. I've never deceived before. I'm a servant of God, called by God. And I'm doing my work. Everybody around me knows who I am. But what about people who are far from me, who are who have been paid, paid agents? I like to bring this to your understanding. Look around the people fighting me. You know they all come from the same place. Out of envy. How can it be him? And the Lord gives every one of you understanding. We we'll have to fight this battle together by kicking the devil out to tell him where he belongs. We have suffered. For good eight years, Nigeria has been on, hanging on the air for granted. This one is visible. And it's about to rain. Please control yourself. And I stand on this platform to say, all you, my lovers, please don't retaliate for me for now. Don't. Go we'll see your thoughts. We don't need noise now. What we need is allow the committee finish the last thing they need to do now and call upon us for this judgment. And I believe God that we're going to hear that good news. Please don't fight for me. Don't fight for me. Even if they rose up now to start fighting, I didn't send anybody to fight for me. God is the one that will finish this work. And it is about to rain. God bless you all. Thank you so much. I will spend a few minutes to hear any question that are relevant and reasonable. I will answer it. But the one that come out of insult, I will take it. Thank you. God bless you. That's all this. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Your Excellency. Thank you.